but you weren't here, so you missed it. Hi, Gigi. Do you miss Maddie? No, oh, he Homer he misses, does. He misses his food bowl. It's only been a couple hours since he's oh, last. Feed your son. And him, too. Ten minutes. Hi, we want food. Come on, Chris. Hey, Ma. Where's Jackson Gal Galaxy said you can't eat that much. Jackson Galaxy said to put your cats on a diet? No, well, see, Homer's not fat. <laughs> There was an episode where the My woman attention whore much? All right. There was an episode where the mom, the cat, the cat mom, um, left the dish out all day long, which is what we usually do, but we don't do now because they're on separate diets. But he said that's not good. Well, we had a cat for 18 years that we left the dish out all the time, yeah, and he was he never had fat. Control. Smokey was the best cat ever. That's why. Smokey was the king of cats. These hooligans can't control themselves. Well, how do you like that? Your mom just sold you out. <laughs> hey, Ma, you stink. All right. Because that cat was a stress eater. Every time he got upset, he went over and ate. Well, apparently Gaston is a stress eater because yeah, he's always he's stressed out. Yeah, he's getting really fat lately, so it's a good thing I'm not. It's a good him thing his time. urinary tract blocked. Otherwise, <laughs> we would have had to put no, him on a diet. No, I didn't mean that. Mom. All right, all right. Let's get to it. Oh, look at him. Look at you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just We're came home from church. We just came home from church because we couldn't go last night. Well, Kristen went, but we didn't because we were dropping off Madeline. So uh, we didn't do our Saturday night markdown haul, so I had to stop at the store on the way home from church. So I picked up a few things. Boca, spicy chicken. Oh, those are so good. And also on my lunch order, I'd like a pickle. Oh, a half sour pickle, not just what any pickle. What does that pickle. even mean? That means they're not all the way like gone, like dill pickles. They're oh, like still I love crunchy. Dill pickles. Yeah, but these are still like half cucumbery. Like when you make Greek salad and the uh, cucumbers soak in that vinegar and they just start to turn like soft. That's what a half sour is. They had the Barilla on sale for 88 cents, so I stocked up on the orzo and the fettuccine. Uh, I picked up some xanthan, xanthan gum because that is basically like a thickener type thing. Uh, makes it like gluey so that when I do my gluten-free yeast baking, it will be, you know, nice and spongy. So you put that in the flour mix. They had this on sale. I haven't had this in a while. I love the whipped cottage Don't cheese. Don't they use these on um, special effects, like on your face? Do they? So it makes it like uh, gelatiny. Am I thinking of something else? It just sounds so familiar. Xanthan You're gum. thinking of spirit gum when they glue oh, on the... Oh, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Greek yogurt that Maddie was eating in London. And uh, I picked it up for a little nostalgia, even though she's not here. I'd like to try it because I noticed that they were selling it in Sam's Club yesterday. Not our Sam's Club, but hopefully you know, one day they'll have it in our Sam's Club. The sugar on this is probably through the roof. Is 18 it? grams, Ma. Why don't you well, use a Snickers bar for What's in this? the Faya? How many grams are in 16. there? 16. 16? It's close. You know why? It's because the syrupy fruit. If you had your plain yogurt and you put like fresh fruit, like my blueberries, I don't want the healthy. <laughs> I want the syrupy one. I want to live a little. All right, so I got some more mouthwash. I highly recommend the Zero, even though I don't use it. I like this one. Mouthwash gives me a stomach ache. I don't know oh. why. Well, even maybe that, you shouldn't swallow it. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. But this is a very good one. It's got six benefits in one. It covers all the bases. Uh, pizza dough. I don't know when I'm going to actually use this. It's frozen like a rock. I was hoping to maybe use it today, but don't think it's going to happen. You know what I want you to do today. <laughs> what? Mom, <laughs> you said you were gonna make the gluten-free pizza again. Oh, I don't. I never said that, but I had to get eggs because we we're almost all out. That gluten-free pizza uh, crust uses up a lot of eggs. Right now, four. Uh, I got this for Sean. This has worked wonders on Sean's mouth, even though I'm not even sure this is the same one. But the gum uh, toothpaste, the gum defense. He had some pretty bad gingivitis. His teeth uh, aren't perfectly in line, so that allows. Yeah. You know, the gums to like collect bacteria, bless you. 
You and he's, uh, bad. he's no. worse than you, honey. No, absolutely. Oh yes, not. The, I'm not gonna have a dental uh, smile off here. Yeah, I'm not gonna show it on camera. That's embarrassing. But he had some problems, and this toothpaste has made a world of difference for him, if along with the mouthwash. If someone just saw my mouth without me talking, they would probably assume that I'm from Britain. Oh please. <laughs> I'm for real. Don't insult the British people. All right, ciabatta rolls. This was half price. This is my mom's favorite, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I love cinnamon raisin bread. Hated it as a kid. Developed a taste for it. Love it now. The Arizona was two for five. Okay, it's not great, but you know what? I love iced tea. And the grapes were 99 cents a pound. These are big, seedless, and yummo looking. Love it. And here we got some local scallions that smell like onion heaven. I've never seen scallions yeah, in New York this big before. Yeah, I want some of that before. on the gluten-free pizza, Mom. Oh my God, just you smell that. Smell it, pizza. smell it. Smell my yeah. onion. Mom, you should make a white pizza. Please, 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 Ooh, please. Ooh, a white please, pizza. Please, please, please. That's dairy, too. I don't care. Please, 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 please. All right, please. we'll see. All right, almost ready for Sunday dinner. Heading off to Granny's. Here's my Spanakopita spinach balls that just came out of the oven. This time, I didn't use um, ricotta or cottage cheese in there, mainly because I'm putting it on Kristen's pizza, but I didn't want it to be too wet. It doesn't have the coating on the outside, so I didn't, you know, want it to be slopping all over the place, <laughs> as Granny would say. What's that? I'll slop it all over the place. All right, so they're going to be a little firm. Here is uh, Kristen's gluten-free pizza. She requested a white pizza. So this is the winning uh, gluten-free flatbread uh, crust from a couple days ago, I guess. I put the winning recipe in the info box. I pre-baked it. Then I put on a layer of the uh, whipped cottage cheese that I got in my supermarket haul in this video, which I love. I love the Friendship uh, whipped cottage cheese. It's very spreadable. Uh, a coating of Locatelli Romano that I grated some of the beautiful scallions from the uh, local farm <laughs> and then on the top I'm going to put some what is this? <laughs> provolone provolone cheese on top so I'll just uh, melt that under the broiler and it should be delicioso for sure alright there's the white pizza out of the oven uh, lesson learned I put the cottage cheese on there but when it went under the broiler a lot of liquid came out of it so I had to drain it off but I'm not sure if it made the crust underneath a little bit soggy so we'll have to experiment around with that if it made it soggy and see how we could make it better but I hope it's okay sorry Chris might be soggy on the bottom I was experimenting <laughs> we'll see what happens I don't know it, it kind of looks like it's still you know crunchy but we'll see it looks beautiful. Uh, the oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, of course you look beautiful as always, Kristen. I don't know why you say you look like you know like a clown. Or was that yesterday? No, I said today. I, like a I don't know. I think that's pretty nice. I think you put together a cute little outfit there. Have some confidence. I have confidence. Oh God, that's <laughs> beautiful, honey. Mm. And it's very what do you lean, think? you know, there was hardly any spinach? fat, and if I saw any visible fat, I always trim it. Granny, you're a queen. <laughs> Good? How's the pizza? Try it. Yeah? Crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Oh. <laughs> he loves you. Oh, he's like so Tell me a story. Tell me a story in dog. Oh, Shorty's got to do his quiz. Hi. Hi. Hi, Angus. Whoa. Hey. White bell bottom pants. Hi. And like a white sailor cap. You can't, whoops, you can't crawl in my lap. Who's the cutest puppy? Angus. Oh. Just, what are you saying? I don't know what it is, but I like it. He looks like um, Odie from Garfield when he puts his ears like that. 
fist. Oh, no, why you didn't show us the pictures that went uh, that you Ooh, took. Granny, what'd you make? Old fashioned apple cobbler for the poor. So it was peach. Oh. Did you try it? You said it was peach. Okay. No, it's just it. okay. Uh, it's a little bland. It tastes like it's missing something. Yeah. Sure? yeah. What's missing? What ingredients did you leave out? Nothing. Uh, nothing. What do you think? It's kind of bland. Cinnamon? No, I don't taste cinnamon. Did you put cinnamon in? Yes. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah. Oh. Did you put butter? Yes. Sugar? Yes. One grain? Yeah. One grain. <laughs> it's good. It's alright. Yeah? That's what Kristen said. It's okay. Look who wants another puppy. Oh, and how much is that? <laughs> He's 25. Oh my god, it's good. It's that good looks good in your arms. He's a good boy. What is he Mac is four done? years old already. Angus, so. yeah. you still yeah, got your puppy teeth. What is going in? I'm not. So what's the weight that uh, the He's skinny right now. Well, he's full grown. He's, he's got a tiny hiney and a big now. chest. Oh, he is? Yeah. <laughs> what is Halsey? Beast. Wow. Yeah, some kind of dog food that they recommended. Like nuggets? Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whisper in his ear, honey. Oh, no. After John oh, and Riley man. go in at night, if we're sitting on the deck, he has to come sit on my lap. Oh. He's going to get a little big for this. He's a cuddle. Mm -hmm. He's a cuddle bug. Only then. You know, all yeah. night he can be attacking me to death. Right. But when they go in, he has to sit on my lap. I want to sit on your lap. Nope. Nope. Angus, sit. Oh, sit he's down. so tall. He, he is. Sit. Nope. Sit. Sit. Paw. No, come He's on. He's looking for a treat in your yeah. hand. Yeah. Oh, see, that's what it is. He thinks you got a treat in your hand. No, no, no. <laughs> no. No. What treats uh, did you get? Come on, let go. The little biscuits. We'll talking. have to bake some biscuits when Look. it gets cool. Nope. Angus. Clap Angus. your hands, Chris. So no, no, Angus. Angus. No. no. Oh, my gosh. No. No. Where are you? Here. Rugs. Where's your chewy? No. No. Oh my god. <laughs> now he is getting crazy. Hey. Angus. He's hey. crazy. No. Come on. No rug. No. Angus. He's just too damn cute. Nope. <laughs> Hi, puppy. <laughs> we were playing with Angus. He would be a good friend for you. He is nice and would not bite. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like that. I would like to meet Angus, but I get throw up tummy in the car. <laughs> so unless someone holds a bag for me to throw up in, I don't think I'll get to meet him. <laughs> Actually, he's a pretty amazing dog. Every time we take him to the vet, he throws up in a bag. You hold like a target bag for him and he'll let you know when he's gonna throw up and he throws up right into the bag. <laughs> we used to just put him in the back like you know in the hatch and, but then he would throw up and step in it and sit in it and everything because he wasn't too smart when he came to like throwing up. He didn't know like you know only dirty birds crap in their nest. <laughs> But then he learned how to throw up into a bag. It's pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool trick, Flash. Good job. What do we do at 11.30? Actually, it's 11.35. Probably can't see that the light is on there. We make coffee at 11.35. Because we want to go to sleep. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I like coffee at night. Actually, a lot of people have told me that they can't drink coffee after like 6 p.m. or they can't sleep. Well, it's pretty much the opposite for me. Coffee actually makes me go to sleep. I don't know why. It's probably because I drink so much coffee. I don't drink it to go to sleep, but I don't have a problem sleeping when I drink it. 
Ah, oh, Corey, that's the best sound in the world when that last part comes through and it's like, coffee's ready. Hey, Homer, you want some coffee? <laughs> no. Hey, Sean, I think it's almost time for bed. It's 11.30. You're going to get ready for bed now? Yes. All right, good job. I've got to edit the Big Brother vlog, which is probably already up by the time you're watching this, so enjoy. <laughs> Let's see. One day done from college. Only like, gee, how many more to go? 200 to go or something like that? Probably less than that because we only have to make it to May. So it's doable. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, update on the hot water situation. I don't know if it's fixed. <laughs> they came last night at almost 10 o'clock and the guy worked on it and he got it going to heat up the tank but now I don't know if it's turned on since so I don't know if it will turn on again or we're gonna have to be calling them tomorrow I'll let you know when I know I've put on a batch of laundry in hot water and it still hasn't turned on I mean the water is hot but I guess it hasn't depleted the tank enough to call for hot water and make it turn on. Although I thought anytime you like open the faucet for hot water, it like automatically comes on, but I guess not. Maybe that's just one of those like instant hot water heaters. So see what happens. Hopefully we won't have to call for the fourth time. So guys, have a great night and until next time, much love.